Showing it again here. They wind up bringing four. Eason in trouble. Able to step away. Keeps his eyes downfield and now slides down. It's fourth down. He double clutches. He rolls. He's chased. He's sacked by Kyler Manu. The fifth-year senior. Spot duty in his first four years. Husky's set to get a good field position here. Aaron Fuller took one back for a touchdown last week. Going to have an opportunity to return this one. Bounces to the outside and brought down at the 34. Went in the field position battle so far in this one. Chico McClatcher off the left side. Has a seam and has a first down. Dragon pulled him out for a gain of 19 inside the 20. Three in terms of touchdowns on the red zone against Cal. Ahmed, great patience. First and goal for the Dogs. Heart and soul of that defense. Same play, different result. Newton's in this time, and Washington draws first blood. Fink steps up, over the middle, intercepted. He sails it into the hands of the freshman, Cameron Williams, who brings it back to the 38. Go into this, look at the two deep safeties here. Look at the depth with which they play, and Fink sees it and thinks he can fit this right behind it. Well, you know what? You can't because those linebackers drop and that ball sails. It's a pick the other way. It is why Joe you have to run against those numbers Coordinator said that's where he thinks he is most different from last year. He wants to be aggressive. He's got fuller here Dragging a defender inside the 10 and it's first and goal Washington after a gain of 23 Ahmed big hole inside the one ball comes out still free Andre Bocelli on it Touchdown Washington signal came late Joe you commented on the hole you normally don't see holes that big that is a tremendous tremendous stick and hit by the true freshman Williams and unfortunately the ball does not bounce the Trojans way the senior Bocelli is on the spot Four-man rush on the slant. There's Pittman for the for St. Brown for the first down. Underneath, it's St. Brown able to step away from Williams and get close to a first down. Man is Pittman, so they flood the near side of the field. It's Pittman getting blocks in front. Michael Pittman sets up first and goal. They'll keep it on the ground. It is Fink left side. He's in for the USC touchdown. Matt Fink pulls it and takes it in. There's, here comes McClatcher. He'll take it. And Chico McClatcher has just enough for a first down. Cool. Screen here, the lone man over there on first and 10. Easton scanning the field. He'll let it fly and find Bryant. Crossing the field, staying on his feet. There's the answer to your question, Brock. He picks up 19 and a Husky first down. Eason finds Bryant again. And he muscles his way for a first down. To the near side. Third down and long for Washington. Eason finding Bocelli. Tackle to the 10 and it's fourth down. It's Porter. Officially 28 yards, and it's good to give Washington the two-score lead going into the break. Quiet first half, 9 for 14 for 97 yards, and right away there's a shot downfield. It's a fastball for Kate Otten inside the 30. He gets rewarded with the first shot of the game. Second down, back to Ahmed, patient running. Keeps the feet going and gets close to a first down. Eason. Behind Bocelli, and it's fourth down with a coverage from Chris Steele. He to finished the first half, this one a little bit longer, and good. And he's nine for nine this season. So the Huskies get points to open the second half. Need or a tendency on what he does. Trojans back with it. Stephen Carr with a big hole, and he hits it hard. And Stephen Carr hits the sideline inside the 35. Biggest play of the day on either side. 59-yard run for Carr. Freshman step comes in at running back. And on second and five, he's got it. He's got room and stays on his feet long enough to get another USC first down. Back to the air. Pittman on the slant. That ball gets picked off by Molden. The first career interception for Elijah Molden in a key spot. 
My goodness, is that an incredible play from the nickel back. All the ground he's got to cover. He's in zone coverage, Molden, right here, and he's going to drop. And so many times, these defenders that drop, they have no idea what they're doing or who they're covering. I, I, I mean, seriously, I've watched enough college tape. Even in zone coverage, he anticipated. Ahmed, oh. big hole, takes off. Speeding across midfield in a foot race that Ahmed wins. 89 yard, and the game changes on a dime. Husky fans have waited for this. Chase Williams, the backup safeties, right there. A one-on-one, -on -one, you see Polamau, he runs into the back official, and it's good night. You're just simply not going to catch the fastest, most explosive player on this roster. McGrew comes in motion and takes the flip. Now goes the other way. And in. Chico McClatcher. How about that? There's Pittman. He's got a first down, finishing with just enough against Taylor. Tweak this one at Washington, and then the Notre Dame game, making it three in a row against ranked opponents. That's Carr again, weaving his way for close to a first down. Or fresh set of downs for the Trojans and play action for Matt Fink. Taking a shot. Has Pittman behind the defense. Touchdown. They finally hook up down the field. 44-yard strike to Pittman. Freshman Cameron Williams, and you're going to watch the route come here. And anytime you get flat-footed, look at his eyes. He gets lost for just a second right there. Watch. Watch his eyes. And you get flat-footed there. Pittman feels it. And you're even. You're leaving. For offensively. Ahmed, a quick break. He's back in here, and he gets drilled before he gets back to the line of scrimmage. In this scheme, much like that Patriot scheme. They blitz right into the run right there, and it's Miles Bryant from his safety spot, dropping Carr for a loss of two. Today. They're down, not been good for the dogs. Pressure coming. Now Ote Ote couldn't get him. Easton will slide down. Now Pei swings out. Throw to the corner. One in. Incomplete. Coverage from Bryant. Washington takes over. For safety. You have all the field to work with. He throws it early. He throws it to the perfect spot. You just can't cover it better. The ruling on the field is an incomplete pass. The ball goes over to Washington on down. First down from the 28. Fink lofting into coverage. That is Williams. He's got it. His second interception of the day should just about finish the deal. That's an act of desperation. I don't think you can make that call with a couple minutes to go yet. Now, that's also a 6'5 basketball player that averages 29 points a game in Drake London. They will get most, or if not all, of these players back. Slobus should return. Plenty of positive for USC to build on in another unfortunate loss for them. 28-14 the final score. Chris Peterson and the Huskies hold off a late charge from USC to improve to 4-1 on the season. The defending Pac-12 champ now 1-1 in conference play with the Trojans fall to 3-2. Brock here, Bruce Feldman, the rest of our crew, Joe Davis saying so long from Seattle. The Huskies win this one, 28-14.